What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is right there. Let's see what Maco Michael's got. You guys, come on. Good morning. Morning, morning. Everybody was so proud to hear you talk last week. Everybody was proud to hear you talk last week. What? <laughs> it's a once in a lifetime thing. I know it. Well, you sold some coffee this morning. I just want you to know that. Thought I sold coffee. You posted that picture of that fuel coffee and stuff yesterday. <laughs> well, it got us a cup this morning. It was really good. Especially if you get two espresso shots. That's what I got this morning. It was good. I drank a little bit of coffee with a vanilla. I drank a whole lot of vanilla though. He drinks. If we go to Starbucks, it's a vanilla latte with whole milk. Four shots. And four shots of vanilla. There's wow. a little bit of coffee in there. A little bit of coffee. In there. <laughs> I like the jitteriness that it gives me, but I don't like the. Th I, I'm not a coffee fan. I don't like coffee. Ooh, I love it. I, I don't. I know people drink it black. My dad does. I can't. I, mm -mm. There's not enough. No, there's not enough want to for me to drink that. <laughs> there's too many. One energy. day, well, one day you'll grow up. One day. Maybe, but there's so many energy drinks out there that I just. Man, I don't, it's so when, full of sugar and. What's wrong with sugar, right? No, I'm just playing. I know, what, mm. I know what's wrong with it. Somebody tell me all that. I'll be all right. You get old like I am one day, and that belly is going to come pooching out. You're going to uh, look like Santa Claus in the middle of summer is what's going to happen. One day. That's already happened, man. <laughs> I promise when you hit 40, you can look at a pack of sugar or some candy, and you'll feel your belt get tight. I have three kids, and the same thing. Sugar-free coffee and sugar-free loaded tea. I'll tell you, I don't, I don't know. I, uh, I used to weigh one. One, we, I was what one fifty five when we got married. You were twenty eight in the way. He was like yeah. three times bigger than I was. Bigger than you was. Like at the time. Uh oh. How We're gonna get to see the Matco man on. have a fight I was, right here. I was three times bigger than you was. And I okay, I'm confused. I was small then, but it, she's saying you was small. Yeah, but she was smaller. I guess. And that's when you say yes, ma'am. You're right. I was confused. You're on what, right. I was confused on what we were talking about. I had to get it processed <laughs> in my head. There's a there's a road we don't go down, and that's the road. So I, you know, yeah, I was. You don't turn. You don't even look down that road. That's right. I was standing at the caution barrier and just seeing what was down there. I'm not going. <laughs> so we won't talk about yesterday. Yeah, we won't talk about yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, we won't talk about that. See, guys, y'all watch that, uh, what is it, like real life Housewives of Atlanta and all that stuff? Yeah. All you got to do is get on the Matco truck. You can see it. Yeah. See it all unfold right here. Well, you know when you, you mess up and you say something, and then it's like, well, I've done said it, and then it's like, well, it's too late now. Well, there's the man that can pray for you right there, Michael, because <laughs> you're going to need it today. <laughs> No, we we done. Walk in on <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we stopped before it got anywhere. <laughs> let's talk tools. Huh? Yeah, let's talk about some tools. That'll make her happy and you too. So obviously the big box is gone. We sold it yesterday, uh, or no Wednesday. I'm sorry. Well, that's we, a good thing when you come in here and you got a card table set up. I'm gonna tell you, man. We box. ended up putting a top drawer on that thing with a stainless steel top and it started the hype all over again. Like yep. everybody thought it was a new box. Everybody thought it was, it's like, no, that's the same box. We just added this. Mm -hmm. And everybody was talking about how great it looked and it lasted a day. So we put it on Tuesday night, it sold Wednesday. We were super happy with that. Um, I, I don't know, it's changing it up a little bit, but got a few cool things on i noticed the new kits and they're really cool those were at our meeting um so i took advantage of them while they were there it everybody loves the stubby half inch yeah um but i don't think everybody realizes how stubby it actually is until you put that 24 on there and it's still shorter than your regular half inch gun so right. 
that's that's a big plus it come in in the green and the orange they have maroon too um a lot of my customers not a huge fan of maroon so i didn't order any of them i'm one of those guys uh, i have a maroon one here if they're just really wanting a maroon kit i'll make them one um but also there's a couple of new tools on the table um is that the new tiny little headed well that's the three that's the that's the three eighths. We're still waiting on the quarter. The quarters are starting to make their rounds. Um, that's been out for a while. The, the quarters come out this year. Uh, I'm really waiting to get my hands on it. But there's one, two, three, three, four-ish new items on that table, not counting uh, the kits. So we, uh, can you figure out what all is new on there? Well, I'm... I would say uh, the new tire pressure monitoring system, and they've had these, right? Well, they've, they've had, had the orange ones, I know. I, I don't they've, think they've I've seen the those, green yeah. one. Looks like a new light. So we got, I'll, I'll just throw it out. We got two new lights. We got the new Coast headband light. We got this new light that's really cool. Um, okay. This light here is 500 lumens, but it also has a built-in speaker. Hmm. So if you're playing music, you shouldn't forget your light. Because yeah. if you got to walk away from the car and it's still playing music, you left your light somewhere. <laughs> yeah. um, I like it because it's 500 lumens. It does have a magnetic base. I know with lights, magnetic base is a huge, mm -hmm. huge thing. We, we've all learned that if it don't have a magnet, people just ain't interested anymore. But um, it's also rechargeable. I like that, that you're not having to add batteries. So I really like that. It's Bluetooth, so I like that. But we also, of course, you mentioned the tire pressure. We mentioned the coast light. We have the sealed head quarter inch ratchet. Okay. That thing is a beast. I love it. Um, I've played with this one just to see how I like it. One, I like the way they went to the switch on the mm -hmm. top. That's so much better than the twist design that Snap-on and Mako had right. for a while. <laughs> I hated that. It just after a while it gets hard to turn, and uh, on some of them you got to use pliers, and at that mm -hmm. point it needs rebuilt. And um, I know some people don't rebuild them right away, but I love that little thing right there. It, it this one is the 16 bolt. Uh, so if you're a big fan of 12, I know, but I think I think before long the 12 is just going to be phased out. They're going to go away from it uh, and go to the 16 volt. Everything's about the battery lasting longer and everything else. But I love that well, one there. Sounds different, don't it? Well, with it being sealed head, it does sound different. I think I picked the battery that I run down playing with it, but uh, I always like to. No, I run both of them down. Okay, well, uh, like I said, I've been I've been using this one, playing with it. Uh, I wanted to try it out with it being sealed head and a new electric tool. Before I sold a whole bunch of them, I wanted to try it out. So right. I've actually had this for two weeks or a week. Two weeks. I've had it for two weeks, and I hadn't even had it on the truck. I've been doing odd and end things at the house with it just to make sure that it it's it was gonna be what I wanted it to be and it has been so far I haven't had any problems breaks the bolts right loose um, I'm curious to see which one sells better whether it be the uh, sealed head ratchet or the long quarter inch ratchet long reach right um, when I get that in we'll have the, the long 3 8 and the long quarter and that one uh, I want to see which one grabs everybody's attention so that's, uh, that's cool yeah, between those and the kit on there with the, the half inch guns, I would go broke if I was still a tech because I'd be mm -hmm. trying to buy. Yeah, those half inch guns are awesome, man. I love, I love that. Like the 2767 impact of mine never gets used if I'm in the shop. Yeah. You know, I use the, the big 2779 and then we use that little old, uh, remember that little 
stubby when there Kevin was rebuilding the front end of your truck. Mm -hmm. That little thing's stout. Had man. we not had it, we'd have been in trouble. Yeah. Had we not had it. And you know a preacher ain't gonna lie. Most of us don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't say you ain't honest. <laughs> I know it. Some of us lie a little more at tax time than they do. Oh, anymore. we can't well, talk about taxes. That's well, not talking about that. That's bad. That's bad. Let me squeeze back here. I got something else that I got to figure out what I've done with well, it. Well, I'm proud you got that uh, that bit set because. Well, we're going to talk about bit set. I was going to be in trouble this weekend. If anybody wants the part number to that sealed head kit. That's actually the box there. That'll throw out a little bit more information about it as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. 42 foot pounds of torque, 300 RPM. So has that's good quarter inch. quarter inch, which people's always going to take and pull it to the torque that they. Yep. Let's see here. I got this one and this one. We'll show it up here. Uh, I like these new shirts, man. I'm proud they're doing that 80s design coming back. Well, that's her ordering those. I, I am, we've done found out between hats and toolboxes and all that. Her style's better. Yeah. Uh, we don't have to revisit that. What year was you born? 91, and she was born in 93, so. So y'all missed the good days then. I, my mama was a baby when she had me, so, yeah. Yeah, y'all missed the good old days. I missed the 90s and Went back to the 80s. <laughs> I got one more to grab, so let's, let's see. So, <laughs> normally we're used to, on the bit set, I don't have the smaller one right now, but on the bit sets we're used to this one here and a smaller one. Well, at the meeting, they actually introduced two new sets that I'm quite proud of. This used to be the biggest one that I would sell, which was a 34. Pretty good set. That's the set you called me on yesterday. Mm -hmm. But now they have the 50 piece set there as well. So it adds some pieces to it. But one of the cool parts is, is the nut setters are actually magnetic. magnetic. So like your 10 millimeter there, it's magnetic. I think that's really cool. Um, it helps out a lot. And if I can ever get this one open talk about it too I'll get it out of the way what I want to know is why they keep putting them in their maroon cases uh, they like maroon I guess but here's the smaller one so it it has a good amount of stuff as well but I know that's a good thing that means we got a lot of stuff but uh so a couple of new sets to look for on the Maco trucks they were at our meeting so we got a couple of good things um, I like this set now. I do too. <clears throat> I like this set a lot, but I can't stand that color, and that's what keeps me from buying <laughs> that set. I understand. I understand. But uh, like they'd be better off to have black cases because that don't offend nobody. With <laughs> black cases. Yeah, I. You know, but the maroon is a color that they just stuck with the whole entire time. So with that being, I guess their color, I wish they'd stay with this red. Everybody's bought this red pretty, pretty good. Um, but as far as the maroon goes, that's fine with me. I, you know, that ain't gonna. Like I would buy this set, but I hate the color maroon so bad. I can't <laughs> buy that set. Pull them out, spray paint, put them back. <laughs> then it'll pop off every time. <laughs> you know how plastic is. Yeah. If that was in a black case or a red case, I don't care if it was high vis yellow. I would take that. But I yeah. hate maroon with a passion might be a state kind of thing. Yep. Just don't like Mississippi, Mississippi State. Mississippi State and Alabama. But that's pretty cool. Well, it's not Alabama maroon. Though. It don't matter. It's close enough. It's close, it's close enough. enough. Close enough. All that is is a little faded maroon. So for part numbers for these, if you're looking for them for your dealer, here's the part number to the 50. Like that's an awesome set, but it's a terribly ugly case. It's hideous. Well, MQC 50. All right, so the smaller one's going to be the same part number. It's just going to have a 24 instead of a 50. MQC 24. 
And then, of course, if you like clay and you just don't like the color, we still have that one for right now. Yeah, I wouldn't buy, if I had to keep it in that case, I wouldn't buy that set for $5. <laughs> well, luckily, you wouldn't have to keep it in that case, <laughs> right? So, me, let me let me give you guys a little, little cut back. I've got the green one, and I love it. But now that they got this and the little foam tray with the sockets, like I'm thinking about putting my green one on the service truck. So, I'm trying to talk Brother Kevin and to uh, talk me out of, no, you don't need to do that because you've already got the sockets and you've already got an impact, you just move it back and forth. But I can't get him to do that. Now Michael's putting a sales pitch on us and it's make it even harder. Yeah, we, we're gonna do a little bit of a sales pitch. So they both already have, Clay actually has the 2779 and the stubby. In green. Um, Kevin's only got the, the, the 2779. My my whole deal is if you take this one and you have it and you're trying to get into a tight spot with a 24 millimeter socket, just say you have the same socket, the short stubby socket, in that tight spot and you go to your stubby, you gain that much more Three room. Inches. Three inches. So that alone is a reason for Kevin to have both <laughs> right there. See, I have no excuse because I've got it. So we'll turn it back to back and we'll line them up. Right there is what you've got. Same socket, same 24. Now, it, it, it let's just go ahead and make sure this. Obviously, you don't have the same torque. I was wrong. It's what seven. It's 700 uh, breakaway foot so bounce. So it's a little over. So it half. is it's, It is half. It's, well, no, this one's 1600. So okay. you're, you're not quite half. Uh, you're 100 below a half. but. 700 foot pounds you gain that much room in a tight spot i mean that that well, the other the, the deal is to the other what uh 900 foot pounds of torque don't do you a bit of good if you can't get it you in can't there. get it in there yeah it don't you do can't you get a it. bit of good well if you and, can't get it and in weight there. difference alone i mean it's like saying i got a fishing rod at the house <laughs> God, kill it, me, for man. kevin's sake let's say he doesn't have <clears throat> Let's say he doesn't have the stubby sockets either. You don't have the you don't have the stubby sockets. I don't. So Kevin's dealing with a whole new scenario here. <laughs> Kevin's dealing with this. This is Kevin's setup right now, which that would be a 24. It ain't gonna be a 21, but that's your setup compared to the setup you can move to. Right. Because you would get the gun and the sockets. Right. So you would go from that. <laughs> like everybody says, oh, I wish I had a Matco dealer like you. It's like days like today like when I need my Matco to get a girl. Man, you've already got that. What's his but you need one for a service truck. about what he's here for, though. You know. He didn't come up here to have Sunday school with us. Are you, if you buy one, are you going to buy one? He he's sold it right there. He sold it. I mean, well, he likes green and you like orange, and they're both on the table. I'm just saying. You put mine on the. You put mine up there and let her add it on my account. You know what? <laughs> just rip the band aid off. Yeah, just go ahead. Yeah, pour salt. All right, Michael. I'm a, I'm on the orange one. <laughs> I'm telling you, this boy right here is 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 a bad addiction now. It's a bad addiction. Cause if you'd have had the orange when I'd have bought the stubby, I'd have bought it then. Well, but I, now, I love that little impact. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I wouldn't. If it come down to it, and somebody said you can have your two Matco air guns, and that's what you have to use all the time, or had you rather have your battery guns, I'm gonna pick the air guns every time. Because for the power sake, right? Well, right. the the right. batteries don't fall out; right. they don't run dead. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. drop them in a thing of transmission fluid, like I did, and it. You know what? All you do is wipe it off. It didn't hurt it. If it does yeah. anything, it helped. It. So, yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm not in a position to complain much with a six to five hundred dollar toolbox sitting there with nothing in it. 
so I mean, a $350 tote. Well, see, I wasn't going to bring that up, though. Yeah. It's not really, you know. Well, sounds like you need to buy some sockets, some pretty, wrenches. No, I've got them. I've got them. Well, see, that's up. even more reason. He's got a half-inch gun and sockets now, see. Yeah. That's it. Now you got half inch Now you see why in Mississippi all the mechanics when Michael pulls up they all like oh god I know I'm this right now. In my defense, <laughs> you're the one that couldn't walk off the truck without going back to it. You're right. And I, I waited. Could, I, no. I didn't need it. I no, didn't need officially. it because I can take like. I've been hauling that one back and forth. So we'll go back to the fishing uh, the fishing pole reference that got brought up. I waited till you had done grabbed the bait and I just I just pulled to make sure it was set. That's all I did. I'm proud of you, Michael. That's I'm all I did. I waited. Well, you know what would happen? Like I wouldn't have. I'd have said, "No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that." And then <laughs> next week. I'll get out there and you know what I'll forget to do? Grab my little stubby and I'll get out there and be like, <sighs> and I'll call you, Michael, let me get one of them. I done sold them all, they gone now. Yeah, I only ordered three a piece. Uh, I knew when he asked, how many do you have? Well, that was my point to start trying. I that, knew, I knew when that was the look. you didn't even have to try. Well, I knew where that was going. I know, but so that- So you're saying I, I showed my hand. Oh, you showed your hand. Yeah, you showed your hand. You know, that's, you, you, just might, you might as well have called losing and made reservations. Yeah. That's, that's just all it costs you. At, at that point, the fishing pole was already doing the work. I yeah. just had to pull and reel. That's all but I had But I've to got do. a nice impact now with a set of now sockets we're in the next and step. a foam truck. We're in the next step of the tool truck business. You first get the I want it, then you get the okay, and then you get the all right, let me tell myself that I'm in a better position from the text. That's what You're happens. You're right. And, and inside, I'm like, I really didn't need that. But, yeah, that, but that was the thing when you yeah. started that. Well, just tell me I don't need it. Yeah. And you should have. Because you know what? I listen to you. Every time. I listen to you. This is... Folks, I'm where he gets in. Th this is great. We saw every stage of the tool truck all at once. The before the buy, the buy, and the talk after the buy. They always talk to themselves about how they, why they did. Well, I'm telling buyers myself, remorse. I didn't. Was buyers remorse. I'm yeah. telling myself I didn't need that. When, when he but said, I wanted. When he started saying, he already had a plan. It wasn't like we had to take him far. You know what I mean? He already said, well, I could put that on a service truck. Oh, it, I wanted, the, I wanted the orange, but all he had was a green. I could put the green one on my service truck and have the orange one here. How many do you got? But you know what's so, bad? Last week, the Snap-on guy had a trade-in Mac impact, and I said, I ain't going to buy that. I'm just going to keep hauling mine back and forth. <laughs> well, now you don't have to. No, because it was the color orange that sucked me in. Matco, there's a prime example why <laughs> colors work. I'm turning this thing off. I done got myself in debt. Uh -oh. It is terrible looking. I'll take the red one. And I'd buy that big maroon one if it was any other color any than other a maroon color. case. Well, maybe they'll come out with some green or orange cases or something. Like, that. like I'll just say if they make them black, then it don't matter. Yeah. Completely. E either way. Just um, go black and don't worry about it. Because I know I'm not the only one. There's a lot of guys comment, man, I'd buy them ADV socket sets, but I hate them maroon cases. Well, see, in the ADV socket sets, you can actually buy the... Um, magnetic trays to hold them in so I don't have a whole lot of issues with that. There's really not a whole lot that See, I hold I your bit drivers. This set and that set from you. And you know the first thing I did, carried them in there and put them in the little pegs. Yeah. Chunk the trays. Yeah. Like the trays they toted them into the shop and that was it. Well and I have a lot of people that do that any anyway. And regardless. I wouldn't have done that. Like yeah. if that had been a different color, I'd have left them in it. Like my that's why I love those gray pneumatic duo sockets. They're a gray case. They don't bother me being gray. I keep them in it. Yeah. The the whole, like, um, like on the ADV sockets and even the um, ADV torques and stuff up there, most people don't keep the case anyway because they're running out of room in their toolbox. Mm -hmm. uh, so they start putting them on um, the pegs or the lock and socket trays that we carry and stuff like that. I'm fine with that. The bit drivers, you really can't. There's really nothing that I know of that you could really. Because the way well, they I must confess it. that's why I never had any Matco air tools because they were so maroon before. for a long time. Because the the old editor we had, and I'm glad. 
because I'm glad they didn't give me my money. Like, really glad. But if they had had green and stuff, I would have bought them then because, you know, I like them. But they only had maroon. And I was like, man, I'm not, I don't care if it's $50. Yeah. I, I'll get on the snap on them truck and spend 500 for a red one. I hate maroon. Yeah. Maroon, maroon's been, you know, it's, it's been around for a while. So hopefully, hopefully we can get away. But, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Yep. You done found something cool right there. I'm just peeling. You need to buy that sealed head ratchet. If it can survive you, it's a tough one. How long did that Milwaukee ratchet last you before it messed up? No, it was the stubby, wasn't it? It's the yeah. battery, like the first, first one. Yeah, first set of batteries. Second day. You That's what I'm doing. You start hammering and it, the battery falls out on the ground. I know it. Put it back in there and it falls out again. And then the last time I put it in there, both tabs broke. The, the thing about Milwaukee. Kevin come walking in with him in his hand. He said, look at this crap. I'm like, welcome to the world of Milwaukee, my the, friend. The, 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 the thing about Milwaukee is they've got the power. They've got, they've got some batteries, remember? You yeah. got new batteries for it. The, the, they've got the power, but, man, they've got some... The battery issue, like my 2767, there's no doubt it's the strongest battery impact on the market. I've proven that on video. Yeah. Uncut. It'll do 1,400 foot pounds. But that impact was sent back seven times since I got it. And then it was sent off. Joe got it back, handed it to me. I stuck a battery on it. When I pointed it down, it quit running. Just come back. I said, Joe. I threw it down on the table. I said, I'm done with Milwaukee. I'm done. I ain't buying nothing else in Milwaukee. Give me a quote on all this crap. I'm done with it. He went out to his car and got a brand new one in the box and walked in and laid it down. So there. I think me and Hamilton have both talked about the issues that we've seen with. They're good, but their battery connection yep. is terrible. You have to put, you know, like, Jersey Discount Tools made a shock strap to hold the 18 volt battery on and it works. It works great. But I guess he's going to have to make like a jock strap to hold the 12 volt battery up in there because that they they will not stay in those stubbies. They're going to vibrate out. Yeah. And it is very frustrating. Well, and I've noticed also on the stubbies that it, it takes the end cap out. Like, I don't know if you've ever had mm -hmm. a lot of people talk about sending them off, but everyone i've seen come back they've had to replace the end cap and the hammering mechanism on every one of them and it's like seems like that may be a weak point that they, that but well. they also wasn't they really didn't try to go into the automotive world they got thrown into the automotive world and it took off like crazy and they're still trying to adapt to it they're well repairing. they're all strong yeah you know? they're, they're stout and, and i think their battery impacts are better you know they're stronger and better than anybody else they need to fix the battery issue yeah but they're they're bad. They they are. They're a good tool. Boys, it it's does. Never, a, it's never always good to buy the first new one thing. That comes yeah. out. <laughs> well, the wait till somebody throws something back at them and they work the bugs out, and then buy that. The redevelopment, <laughs> buy it. <clears throat> well, they work good, but man, like I told Joe, he's talking about they're the best there is. I said it don't do you very much good when it's sent off to warranty center. Like they are it's hard to fix it. In there. It's hard to fix something when it's in a box being shipped back and forth. It's yeah. Hard it's hard hard to get your money back out of it that way. Well, yeah. And I think they'll get it all worked out. They'll, they'll get it smoothed mm. out. We'll see. But. And, you know, me personally, I'd rather have the reliability of the tool truck impacts. They're not as strong. They're not. And you pay more money for them. But if they work every time you get them, yeah. That's what you buy them for. Like, if I want a part-time helper, I'll buy a part-time helper. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, I want my tools to work every time. Yeah, well, most of the time, if you can get an impact in there, you can take a breaker bar or a ratchet and break it loose and then run it the rest of the way out. Yeah. I don't care. I ain't going to do that, though. If my impacts won't do it, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get on this truck and find one that will. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. if you can't sell me one, I'm going to get on another truck. That's right. Because I'm lazy, and I admit I'm lazy, and if I can get an impact in there, that's what I'm going. I will walk all the way across the shop to get an impact when I got a ratchet in my hand. I don't 
on how we made it before. I don't either. The few jobs that I've done, I've worn my impacts out. That's, I mean, I think <laughs> yeah, we're all... I don't know how the, and a battery screw gun, I'm the same stuff. way. Son, if I can stick that little quarter-inch impact driver with a bit in there, I will walk smooth around. I'll step over screwdrivers all day long to go get that joker. So I'm actually in the market for a new um, quarter-inch gun. And the reason I'm in the market, right, well, quarter-inch or three-eighths, I ain't decided yet. But mine broke, and it's just too old to worry about, but... I did that 5-4 timing job all by hand. Man, I got all oh, brand man. new Milwaukee stuff in there. Man, I'm gonna tell you. All of it's oh. new. They sent it all back new. I'll cut you a smoking well, deal. <laughs> I'm, actually waiting on, I'm actually waiting on to see if I want a sealed head ratchet or the long reach. That's why I tried that one out also. I mean, I tried it out to make sure it was what I wanted. I, I try not to sell a whole lot of stuff that I haven't tested myself. Right. But, uh, between that one and the long reach three eighths, either one of those, um, I like. I like the three eighths long reach, but a lot of times I'm using quarters, so I don't know. Um, it's between those three, I definitely like the long reach better. Like since you know I've got the snap on platform, and I hardly ever use the regular one. I always get the long reach. Yeah, you know. I, I like the sealed head because of the switch, but I'm ready to see what the long head uh, quarter inch what it's about, and and. You know that one there they say you can torque it up to 150 foot pounds that's yeah. crazy run it down with a trigger and pull they might it. as well make them to do that because yeah. everybody's going to do it anyway. everybody's going to do it <laughs> i mean that's just that's they're going to do it anyway i yeah. like how little the heads are on them yeah that that will help you get in tight yeah well and that's what i'm ready to see on the quarter inch did they go smaller is it the same size as that one what do we got because that's typically a quarter inch head there so you know, is the is the quarter any smaller? What what are we working with? Like motor mount bolts on the Hemi. Yeah. If you're taking them off the motor. Yeah. Instead I, of pulling that, you know, pulling up over the mounts because the mounts are just tall. Yeah. You take them off at the motor. You can't get those ratchets. You can't get it in there. Yeah. Well, I can tell you this: if there's a job that's gonna make a preacher man cuss, it's the five four valve cover bolts on the passenger side. Like, yes. especially doing them by your with a hand ratchet. Uh, oh, well, I ain't. Or if you're really that. concerned about your faith, you'll just hire somebody to cuss for you. Yeah. Just yeah. point at them. So how much? You, how much time. you pay for that job? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'll even take it once. I'll drink two beers and cuss at the same time. I'm not paying you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the job I need right there. Uh, <laughs> Sign me up, preacher you're, man. You're right about that. I'm gonna I'm tell you when you're using a quarter inch ratchet um, because it's smaller and you're doing it by hand and it keeps slipping off the dang, the, the dang bolt. Yeah, it's uh. See would, him just thinking about it almost cuss. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've got several of those. Don't you? I mean, just thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it uh, like a flashback from Vietnam. <laughs> go to Twitch. <clears throat> it's definitely not a job that you want your son standing right beside you when he's copying everything. Like, don't don't hold that light, buddy, no more. We're going there with your mama. <laughs> I bet mama's it's, got some cookies and cupcakes. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's when if your mom's you over there, be like, Mama, you need to go inside. Yeah. <laughs> it's finna get bad. Can you imagine the vacation the engineer guy that did that to you? Ah, uh, I mean, well. He's still on the beach right now. Probably so. <laughs> still on the beach. I would have almost flew to that beach to have a conversation <laughs> with him. Just hugged his neck. I mean, just grab him. Here, let me, uh, let me hip you out. Let me put uh, this umbrella over you where you don't get sunburned. I'm, I'm going to show you how much you mean to me. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we fix and get back after it, like always. Thank y'all for watching. And if you want two of the ugly maroon cases, we gave you the part number, Matco. <laughs> Put them in something worth buying. Don't nobody want that maroon stuff. Come on now, y'all killing it with the blue ratchets, and you throw this maroon case right in her face. You killing me, guys. All right, like always, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, code tools, and discount codes, and click that subscribe button. That's free. Just press it. I'd have bought them if it had been any color than orange. Oh well. See ya.